Hey everybody, thank you all for tuning in. My name is Sam. I am the superhero. I am a psychic medium and that's what makes me a superhero. So go ahead and like the video and hit that subscribe button because we love superheroes over here. There is absolutely nothing that you have to do to get a free psychic reading. Just tune in to my channel and if the message is for you, you'll know it. Please share this video with your family and friends as one of these messages may be for them. Now let's get into the first message. Your name is Chantal. You are a light-skinned biracial woman, Indian and white. You went missing when you were 18. When you left, your father never gave up hope and your mother was devastated. I see that you also have a little sister that you left behind. There was a time when you regretted your decision, but you had too much pride to tell your parents that. I see that you've been on the streets and you may have fallen victim to sex trafficking. Uh, You've tried to take your own life before, but you couldn't do it. You were going to use a knife to your wrist. Um, but you're really smart, like book smart. You're also very perceptive. You tend to notice what others don't. I feel like you know that you're wasting your talents when you could do better. Um, when you look at the news and you see things related to AI or technology, it excites you. You're the type that can talk about new gadgets for hours, but the circle that you're currently in, they're not interested in those types of things. My message to you is, I see a window of opportunity coming up for you and you should take it. And I'm being told to tell you that you can have the type of life that you desire, it's not too late. Sometimes a window of opportunity could literally mean jumping out of the window, but only if it's safe to do so. Light and love to you, my friend, I know you got this. Okay, so before moving on to the next message, I have a random message that came to me and I feel like I need to share it. So last week sometime, I was eating at a fast food restaurant and after eating one half of the sandwich, I was about to eat the other half and I was suddenly drawn to take another look at the meat. So I did. And in my spirit, I strongly felt that if I ate that part of the sandwich, it would cause cancer to appear in my body. So I stopped eating it. And when I looked at the sandwich again, it started to disgust me. So I'm sharing this message because, yes, this was definitely a warning for me, but it may be a warning for you as well. So if you can make better decisions, uh, better eating choices, then do so. Light and love to you. Okay, moving on to my next message. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're a woman from Bell Rock, Texas. Uh, you have a thing for uh, bracelets, especially red ones. You've recently had gastric weight loss surgery that you regret. Something went wrong on the operating table and correcting it has been very painful. Um, you're worried that you're worried if you will lose any weight at all. And I'm here to tell you that you will, but it's going to take a toll on you. Your name is Kathy, or that's just something that they call you. You have shoulder length, strawberry blonde hair, and you wear glasses. You have a small mouth that you're insecure about. And either you work in social services or your work is uh, social services related. You may even be a social worker. You drive a light yellow buggy and you're always busy. In your personal life, I see you wanting love and support. Um, there is a man coming up for you. He looks to be about six feet tall, a brunette who's medium thick built. Uh, he dresses like a professional in long sleeve button up casual shirts and corduroy type of pants. He wears light baseball caps and has short, thick brown hair. I'm also getting he's a Libra, but I'm hearing that you need to take things slow with him as he just got out of a long-term relationship and he still has a bit of hurt in him. But even so, he has a kind heart, the kind of heart that you've been looking for. He's near a local swimming pool in your area I'm also hearing that he volunteers at the rec center um, there or near there. June is coming through for a month that you're going to meet him in. My message for you is make your health a priority and focus on being the best version of yourself that you can be. You're already as sweet as pie and you brighten up the lives of so many. But before getting involved with this man, make sure that he's over the ring that he still sometimes wears on his finger. Light and love to you. Okay, so this is my last message for this video. 
You're a male between 19 and 21 years old, but you look young for your age. Some might even think you were 15 at first glance. You're short in height, maybe about 5'3". You have light brown hair. You wear glasses. I don't know what brand name of these glasses that they are, but they remind me of the kind that like Jeffrey Dahmer wore. You're a comic book guy, and you often walk with your hands in your pockets and your head down. You live in the type of town that seems very religious-based and has a strong sense of Southern values to it. You feel like an, you feel like an outcast there. Um, there is a long dirt road on a route that you often take, and on that road looks to be uh, an old white church or a community landmark type of building. It has chip white paint on it. There's a, there's a <coughs> excuse me. There's a dark-haired older man that smokes cigarettes. He's about 5'9", 5'11", and he looks upward to 49 in age. He watches you as you walk by. I've seen him wave at you a couple of times. He even gave you an awkward smile a time or two. Now, the thing is, you two are very different people, and he's not just looking for a friend. He's looking for a situation that he can keep hidden if you follow my drift. You, on the other hand, you just want someone you can relate to, without them thinking that you're weird because of your different interests. My message to you is, when it comes to the man uh, by the white church or that white landmark type of building, be clear on your boundaries, okay? It's also a good idea for you to look into online groups for comic nerds in your area, or if you can't find a group like that, then create one. Your tribe will show up. Just stay consistent. Light and love to you. Okay, guys, so in closing, I just want to say pay attention to the signs. If you think one of these messages are for you, watch the news, scroll on social media, or listen to the radio. When messages are for you, they tend to repeat themselves over and over again. You'll literally feel it in your spirit if it's for you, so let that be your confirmation. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you for today. I hope that you all have enjoyed it. Uh, please don't forget to share this video so the family and friends get these messages. And until next time, remember, anybody can be a superhero, even you.